Howdy! Welcome to the third episode of What's in My Mallet Bag. Today I will be reviewing a unique set of mallets that I think every percussionist should have in their stick bag. And those mallets are the Late Night Mallets from Mallet Tech. So before I get into the review, I'd like to say thank you to Tony Maselli. So Tony sent me these mallets completely at his own expense for me to review for the channel. Thank you, Tony, for watching. Thank you for contributing by donating these mallets. Now, that being said, I'd like to say that this video is not sponsored by Mallet Tech. They are not paying me to say good things about these mallets. However, I do have some good things to say about these mallets. These mallets were designed by both Lee Howard Stevens and Tony Maselli, so they are both good for vibraphone as well as marimba. These mallets are designed for those who need to practice in spaces and remain rather quiet, so that includes spaces such as apartments, backstage, other practice rooms where you don't want to be bothering too many people, or even just in a house where you have tons of people living there you don't want to bother them too much. Now there are two models of the Late Night series, we got the Late Night Mallet 1s and the Late Night Mallet 2s. So I personally find the 1s are essentially completely quiet beyond the contact noise, while the 2s have some noise coming from them which we'll get into later with the sound review. However, despite them being nearly completely silent, you can still be quite articulate with the mallets, so you are able to hear what you're playing very cleanly as well. They retail for around 43 US dollars for the rattan models, which are the ones I have here, about 37 US dollars for the Birch models, which are available on Malatex website, which I've linked in the description. I've been very fortunate to never have roommates, neighbors, or anybody else around me to be super upset if I'm practicing, recording, or doing anything related to vibraphone or even percussion within my house. That being said, I still find there to be quite a large amount of use that I get out of these mallets. My fiance, for example, works night shifts and she needs to sleep during the day and of course I don't want to bother her by playing bebop lines while she's trying to sleep. Another situation where you'd be playing quiet in is because you've practiced your part so well that you need to play it really quietly while the director is talking to somebody else so that you can pull these mallets out and make sure you know those lines so they're perfect for your rehearsals. I've also found that I've been able to focus more on secondary features while using these mallets. Those features include my posture primarily as I'm able to focus a lot on where my arms are, where they're moving, how much I'm hunching over the instrument, and especially of how hard I'm actually hitting it. So like I said earlier, I have both models of the Late Night series here and they're both in rattan. The shafts, however, are also the same length as a marimba mallet, which for vibraphone, it's something that I'm not 100% comfortable with, although I was easily able to adapt. I assume this is so the crossover between vibes and marimba is even easier and those marimba players who like to play with rattan can easily do so on the marimba. The thickness of the shafts is something that bothered me a little bit. So these mallets are quite thick on the shafts, they're significantly thicker than a normal vibraphone mallet, and it was something that it took me a little off guard, however I got used to rather quickly. The only situation that I've ran into trouble with, which is probably a very niche situation for most mallet players, is that when I added a third mallet to do some six mallet playing, especially on marimba rather than vibraphone. I found this was quite difficult to get used to. So that's just a thought to keep in mind. However, I was still able to do it. It just wasn't as transferable from using normal marimba mallets or normal vibraphone mallets. Another thing unique about these mallets are the heads. They're quite larger than a normal vibraphone mallet head. However, they are not as large as that certain pair that I reviewed in the last episode. I also found that the mallet heads weren't too big to use on the upper range of the instrument, such as up here where the bars are significantly thin or on my vibraphone where the bars aren't graduated so they are much smaller all around. Now the core of these mallets seems to be some type of sponge material which makes me think that hey not only are these mallets super good for playing quietly but hey these are great to rewrap if you ever want to learn how to rewrap mallets. A disadvantage to this sponge like material is the amount of rebound that you get from the mallets. So the rebound from these mallets is significantly more as in there is some rather than with a normal vibraphone mallet where you're essentially getting no rebound. Now this creates a problem that is essentially the exact same that you would get from playing on a practice pad or on an electric drum set. So the rebound situation with these is quite a lot. I find I get a large amount of rebound. The reason why I think it's a bad thing is because I might get too used to that. So similar to when you're playing on a pad or on an electric drum set and then you go play on a real drum or a real drum set, you gotta readjust the rebound that you're feeling. However, this rebound situation, you can still use it for a practice pad. For example, I can still play on a pad, get a little bit more bounce than normal, practice some independent strokes, and there's a good situation for that. For those of you who play on the floor instead of a practice pad, maybe you're sitting up against the couch or against the wall, and you're playing on the floor, 
that might be a bit loud with normal mallets. So we're gonna do a quick sound test here. I'm gonna go up to my kitchen, which is right above here. I'm gonna play on the floor with both the twos and the ones, as well as I'm gonna bring up a pair of medium marimba mallets and see how those sound on the floor as well. So hopefully that quick sound test will help those of you who play on the floor determine what mallets would be best to not disturb your neighbors below you or those around you. So one question that came across me from one of my friends was, do I think these mallets would work in a performance setting? Would I choose to use these mallets on marimba or vibraphone over using regular vibraphone mallets or marimba mallets? Simple answer is no, I would not use these to go to in a performance setting. However, doesn't mean it's not entirely useless. These mallets are incredibly soft, there's a lot of contact noise, and I could see using these on the lower ranges of a marimba. And with these mallets, you could use them, I'd say throughout majority of the marimba, maybe the top octave leave out. But on vibraphone, I can't see myself ever using these in a performance situation. Maybe the twos on one of my more quiet ambient gigs, but I'll never bring these to a restaurant to play or bring them on the stage. Now here's a quick sound test to give you guys an idea of how both the ones and the twos sound. So hopefully this sound test helped determine what's right for your mallet bag. Personally, I'd say if you want completely no sound and you want just a little bit of contact sound, these are the mallets for you. And if you want a little bit of contact sound, you know, some, some articulation with some notes heard, then the twos I think are best for you. So you may have noticed that this instrument was rattling a little bit during the sound test. Of course, this instrument is nearly 50 years old, so it's gonna rattle a little bit when I'm playing it. But these mallets do create a bit of rattle noise, especially on the higher end when you're using them. So that's something you might wanna consider. I hope this review helped you determine what was right for your mallet bag and what you wanna have in your collection. Again, I'd like to say thank you to Tony Maselli for sending me these mallets and helping contribute to the show. If you wanna help support the channel, you can hit like and subscribe and leave a comment as well down below what you think about these mallets. You can also head over to Patreon and donate and be able to support the channel. Link is in the description below or you can head over to patreon.com slash briankscole. You can also follow me on all my other social medias where I'll post more updates to the channel there. Don't forget to check out my other mallet reviews where I've done the Promark Milt Jackson mallets as well as the Tony Maselli mallets from Malatech and I've done some instructional videos starting with how to bow on the vibraphone. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.